Dear children, today we are going to learn next topic that is subtraction. Okay, we are going to learn the terms used in subtraction and properties of subtraction and simple without regrouping subtraction sums and also regrouping subtraction sums and basic uh, real life subtraction uh, in maths. Okay, let me do with example sums. Okay, our topic is subtraction okay let me see first on simple subtraction sum and what are the terms used in subtraction okay let me know first that is Okay, so that is 2695, 1282. Okay, you can subtract 1282 from 2695. Okay, first this that is 2695 is a, it is called, that is minuend. Okay. Uh, that means one number from which it can be subtracted is called minuven. Okay. In subtraction that is addends. Okay. In subtraction the first top number that is a greater number from which the other number should be subtracted. So the number is called minuven. Okay. You know the terms that is minuven. And this 1282, which number to be subtracted from the minuven. Okay, so which is called, this number is called subrahan. Okay, S-U-B-R-A, okay, subrahan. So this is called minuven and subrahan. And the answer is the which is called difference. Okay, first you have to minus that is 5 minus 2 that is 5 in the mind. Okay, 2 in the finger you have to say the before number for subtraction. Do you know this in your previous grade second and first standard level? So you have to counting by descending manner. So 5 in the mind, 2 in the finger before 5 that is 4, 3. So that is 3. And 9 minus 8, 1. And 6 minus 2, that is 4. And 2 minus 1, that is 1. And put the comma, that is 1413. This answer is called difference. Okay. In subtraction sum, that is add in, and is, which is called, answer is sum. In sub, addition sum. Okay. In subtraction sum that is called minus n and the number to be subtracted from the greater number which is called subrahan and the final answer is called difference. Okay, let me do another sum also that is five digit number that is same like that. So, insert comma that is 1 stands 100 and 1 stands 100. How to read the number? That is 95,689 minus 25,247. So, you have to subtract this number from the minus 1. Now, the, which one is minus 1? This number which is called minus 1. Okay, and the number should be subtracted is called subrahan. And the answer will be difference. Okay, let me subtract. Okay, 9 minus 7, 2, 8 minus 4, 6 minus 2, that is 4, 5 minus 5, that is 0, and 9 minus 2, that is 7. Insert comma. 1 stands 100. So the answer is 70,442. Which is called difference. 
okay so this is a uh, basic concept of subtraction okay these are the terms used in subtraction calculation that is subtraction sum these are the important terms min 1 subtrahan and difference okay and let me know next properties of subtraction okay and you have to practice more sums you can take from your ncrt or uh, practice workbook and do it uh, more sums for uh, speed calculation okay for uh, similar to that of our previous calculation now that is properties of subtraction okay now we are going to learn the properties of subtraction okay so first point that is you have to subtract the same number itself the answer will be zero okay this is a first point in subtraction okay if you can subtract the same number okay if you subtract the same number the answer will be zero okay with example that is single digit number that is 9 minus 9 that is 0 whether it is a single digit number 2 digit number or more than 4 5 6 anything else if you subtract the same number itself the answer will be always 0 okay let me do that is minus same number the answer will be whether it is 1 lakh 1 billion anything else you have to subtract the same number the answer will be only 0 okay this is the first property okay copy it down and the second point if you can subtract the number 1 from the given number the answer will be the predecessor okay in addition you have to add one number that is a successor of the answer will be successor okay in addition in subtraction if you subtract one number from the given number the answer will be the predecessor that is a before number will be the answer of the given number okay that is a sec uh, second point that is a second property okay first point and second point if you subtract the number 1 answer will be answer will be the predecessor predecessor means that is before answer will be the before number of the given number okay for example that is 9 minus 1 answer will be 8 that is 8 is a before number of 9 and next one that is 100 minus 1 answer will be 99 so 99 is the predecessor of 100 whether it is a thousand minus 1 that is 999 and 1 2 3 4 minus 1 means you have to write down this predecessor that is predecessor of the 34 that is 33 so 1233 is the before number so this is a property of subtraction this is a second point if you subtract the number one answer will be the predecessor these are the examples whether it is a single digit number or more than four or five six anything else the answer will be the before number of the given number this is a second property of subtraction and the third property of subtraction if we see with example okay uh, you can that is you can get the uh, subrahan okay subrahan 
from the subtraction of the minus one and the difference. Okay, do you know? I will uh, show an example to prove this third property. Okay, that is here nine thousand. Okay, minus here is the dash equal to. Okay, that is here. That is three thousand five hundred. Okay, or anything else. It will be the simple number. That is thousand. Okay, so here answer is you can find out this. What is this number? This is a subrahan. For subrahan, okay. To calculate the subrahan, you have to minus the minus one. Minus one minus that is difference. Okay, this is a to calculate the subrahan. Okay, you can find out this minus one minus difference. You have to subtract the difference number from the minus one number. You can calculate this number. Okay, for this here, do this nine thousand. Okay, minus thousand. Okay, the answer will be the. Eight thousand. Okay, zero and nine minus one eight. So here nine minus eight thousand. So nine minus eight thousand is the answer. Will be the thousand. Okay, this is a simple to find out the simple formula, and this is a third property in subtraction that you can find out the subtraction. You can subtract the difference, okay, from the minus one. You can get the answer of the subtraction. This is the third property, and the fourth property. Again, you can find out this minus one also. How to do that? Is minus one can be find out by the addition of difference and subtraction, okay? That is subtraction. Plus that is difference. That is why we all we learn the terms in subtraction. So now you can understand what is minus one, what is subtraction, and what is difference in sum. Okay, in subtraction sum. So you can find out this minus one. You can addition of. You can add with the subtraction and difference. You can get back the minus one value. This will be. Proved by this. Now this is a difference, and this is a subtraction. So you have to add this number eight thousand plus thousand. You have to add this number. The answer will be that is nine thousand. This nine thousand is the minus one value here. Okay, this is a proof. How to prove this formula? So you can get back this two formulas, and this is a property of subtraction. Okay. And the fifth uh, property of subtraction, in similar to that of our addition sum, you cannot be, you can't change the order of the subtraction. In addition, that is two plus eight equal to ten, and whereas that is two plus eight, and uh, you can change the place or the order of the uh, addends. You can get the same answer in addition, but subtraction the Order of terms cannot be changed because here that is hundred minus ten. Answer is ninety. But you can't change the ten minus hundred. The value will be changed. So it cannot be changed. That is the fifth property of in addition. That is you cannot be. You cannot be change the. Order, order of numbers in subtraction. It cannot be changed. Okay, so this these are the five properties of subtraction. That is, first add with the uh, same number you can get the 
0 and that is uh, no, so, uh, sorry you can subtract the same number answer will be uh, 0 and if you can subtract 1 the answer will be the predecessor and you can get the value of subtrahend you can subtract the difference from the minus 1 and again you can get the minus 1 value by the addition of subtrahend and di difference this is the fourth point and fifth property you cannot be change the order of numbers okay and these are the properties of subtraction okay